on the home screen of your Android phone, you see the uh, VTAP Quick Search widget at the top, which says Find Anything. When you click on that, what we've built here uh, is an intelligent home screen, such that it would remember the apps you use, the people you call, and make those easier to access at any time. So it's actually learning based on your pattern of behavior, uh, time of day, day of week, even location. So if there's apps you use only at home and, and more on the weekend, then they should not or likely will not appear in this list uh, during the weekday uh, when you're at work. Um, but if you don't see something here, uh, you can go to the search bar and immediately start searching. So let's say um, you uh, want to turn on Bluetooth. You can just type Bluetooth and click on Bluetooth, and it'll take you directly to the spot where you can turn it on or off. Uh, another option and something that uh, you might want to set is an alarm in the morning. Now, you don't have to remember the name of the app. You can just type alarm, uh, and as you're typing, you'll see the clock app with alarm in parentheses shows up. If you click on that, it takes you directly into where you can create the alarm. Um, even things that are deeper in the settings that you may not do regularly, like uh, say you've decided you now need a screen lock, you don't want anybody to be able to use your phone, um, which might take a while to find in the settings, you can just start typing screen lock and you see there it shows up. Now these apps will be learned too if you use them regularly and uh, then the home screen comes in, the intelligent home screen will help you out by showing them before you even search. Okay, let's take a look at a different phone so you can see how the personalized home screen or intelligent home screen uh, looks different than the one we saw earlier. So this one it has a different set of contacts and apps uh, that is learned from different behavior, obviously a different phone. Um, this will actually appear after you download VTAP Quick Search, so it doesn't take time for it to learn. It will pull and find the past behavior and demonstrate this for you. But one of the other problems beyond just what's on your device is how do you discover new apps? So let's take a look at a couple of examples there. So let's say I was uh, planning a trip and I type in travel. Um, what the app does here is it links to relevant apps on my device. So trip it shows up, but it also brings in apps from the Google Play Store. So uh, you see a list of apps that are all one click away to download those. Um, if I took a different direction on that and I said, well, I'm actually just looking for flights, um, type that and you see also apps related to that. And if I click on Kayak, uh, you see that it deep links directly into the Play Store where it's one click to Kayak and then one click to download, um, which makes it extremely easy to find and discover apps to use on your device. Uh, one last example there is, uh, let's say I'm looking for movies. Um, well, as I'm typing that, you see on my device, uh, the Flickster app shows up. Um, so it made that connection. But also, uh, we're indexing local movie theaters. So you see there is uh, several theaters that are right around the corner. And if I click on one of those, uh, you see I have the ability to map it or call.